this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to create smooth skin, which is to say uh, for some close-up and portraits especially, uh, we want to uh, remove some of the blemishes, some of the spots in the photo and just make the skin look a lot smoother. So the way we do this is with this tool here, the healing brush tool, which is underneath the spot healing brush tool. And for the healing brush tool we want to uh, set some options here. So we want to make sure that the diameter is not too big, so something around the size here will do. We don't want anything monstrous or anything like that. So a small diameter. Um, hardness, uh, a low hardness setting so that um, the, the, setting, the modifications that we're going to be making are going to be fading out. So it's not going to be a harsh modification. And the spacing, we want to make sure that the spacing is at its lowest, right? Now what we can do here is create a new layer and with aligned and sample all layers selected, we're going to be making uh, corrections on layer one here because it's going to be this tool is going to be sampling all the layers. So it's going to be sampling this one and the blank one. So we're going to be making corrections um, onto this layer. Let me just show you how this works. It's quite simple, really. Um, we hold down the Alt to select a, an area that is similar. So here and now here we're going to click and let go, and we've made that modification. Now we've made that modification to this layer and left the background layer untouched. So we, if we unview that layer, we can see that that spot goes back and the corrections we're making are to this layer. So if we make any mistakes or if we need to redo anything, it's always on this layer here, which is much easier to delete, create a new one or delete parts of it than to the original image. So we're just going to go ahead and always sampling from an area that is close to where you want to make a modification. We're going to be um, making the skin smoother. So we're just right now just removing the blemishes and making it look nicer. So we're removing any red spots, any, you know, anything that you want to be removing from the photo itself. All right, once we're done, what we're going to do is select our two layers here, duplicate them, and then we're going to merge the uh, layers that we selected, right, those two layers. So in effect, we have these two layers merged into this top layer here, so it has these two layers into one. The reason we're going to do this is we're going to go into filter, noise, and median. And we're going to apply, apply this uh, effect to, to the layer, but we want to then scale it back a little. And that's why we've combined and, you know, made this extra layer here. So the deal with median is that we want to make the skin look smoother, but we want to make it uh, not smooth enough. For example, on one here, if you hold down your mouse as you're moving, you can see the original image, and then when you let go, you can see the modification. And it hasn't really smoothed out any uh, of the details as much as I'd like it to smooth. But also, you don't want to do it too much so that it just becomes a blob, right? So you got to strike a balance. In this photo, I think it's a two will do the job just well. You can compare the before and after here by moving things around. And you can see that it does make this, the skin overall a lot smoother. So we're going to head, go ahead and click OK. And we're going to change the opacity here to 50%, just so that we have sort of an in-between. Uh, if we uh, unview it, you can see the original with our modifications here, but the overall, the, uh, the skin overall hasn't been smoothed out. And now with it smoothed out. This is great, but it smooths out too many things, too much stuff that doesn't need to be smooth, right? We want to focus on smoothing just the skin. So for that, we, what we need to do is select that top layer there, and we're going to add a layer mask and fill it in with black. So black being my background color, I'm just going to go ahead and control and backspace. Fill it in with black so essentially this layer isn't, you know, it's masked out completely. Now what we want to do with a big brush, um, we want to set a hardness, a low hardness and a big brush. So I'm just going to select here something quite large here, we're going to punch a hole through that mask, right? So we want to, with uh, opacity of 100% here, make sure that you're in 100% opacity, we're going to be smoothing just the skin. And that's why we're using the big brush here for the bigger areas, like the cheeks and the forehead. And now as we get closer to some details, we're going to be decreasing the size of the brush until we get all of the skin smooth and uh, none of the parts that you didn't want to smooth out, you know, you want the, the parts that you don't want smooth to remain unsmooth. 
and the skin, just the skin, to to be smooth. So uh, if you need to gradate anything, if there are any parts that you need to um, do a little bit more than just the on and off of the mask, you can change the opacity of your brush to like 40% or 50% so that what you're uh, removing isn't or revealing isn't, you know, an on and off. It's a little bit in between there. So you can gradate things a little bit better, especially on the edges. When it comes to edges like that, it's a little bit better to have a lower opacity. You can always check the before and the after and see if it is something that you like. And uh, of course, at the end, you can always do a before with the original, right? And then the after. And you can see that we've done a pretty good job at smoothing out the skin. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.